Hello to all you great folks here on YouTube. I am Torstein from Cinema Terror and today I am going back to Italy in the late 80s, this time with the legendary director Ruggiero Deodato attempting to make telephone lines scary in Dial Help. So yeah, we got demonic telephone lines here. That's the evil power that are supposed to frighten you in Dial Help and it is actually played straight and not for comedy as you perhaps would expect. Whoever or whatever is doing their haunting through these lines has set his sights for young model Jenny. She has moved into a new apartment after a tough breakup with her boyfriend. Shortly after she moves in, she starts to receive bizarre phone calls and whenever the phone line is active, weird, scary and dangerous events start to take place around her and her friends. That's about all I need to say when it comes to the story in Dial Help, as it is obviously quite ridiculous and dated. It reminded me of all those 90s movies that were dealing with the rise of internet without having any idea whatsoever about how the technology worked. So while the idea of a haunted telephone line is silly today, I will give Dial Help a small break as they are the only ones who has failed to make a horror film dealing with technology scary and not just silly. While you as a viewer might not be able to take anything that happens in Dial Help seriously, they sure did, as there is no hint at a comedic wink to the audience. It seems like everyone from the screenwriter, to the producer, to the director and the actors all took everything seriously, which I guess is impressive in one way, especially when they go into crazy, laughable stuff like when our main leading star gets sexually assaulted by a telephone. Hot stuff. Speaking of the leading lady, she is played by the British beauty Charlotte Lewis. She had recently only started acting after getting a big part in the Roman Polanski film Pirates only two years prior, and followed it up with the Eddie Murphy movie The Golden Child a year later. To follow those two Hollywood movies up with Dial Help is a weird career choice for sure, and she wouldn't appear in many notable films after this, mostly she just showed up in some action B movies during the 90s. There's not all that much to say about her acting skills in this one. She has to act like a person who is being haunted by telephones, yet are unable to avoid picking one up when it rings, so you know, how can you show off an engaging performance with that type of material? To be honest, she is cast because she is amazing to look at and call me a perv if you want, but that was good enough for me and I enjoyed putting my eyes on the lovely Miss Lewis for 93 minutes. The other and biggest star in this production is of course the director himself, Ruggiero Deodato. Forever legendary due to being responsible for one of the most shocking and controversial films of all time with Cannibal Holocaust, Deodato did in fact have other tricks up his sleeve, but perhaps it is not in dial help that you will be able to spot it. So while this might not be his most memorable effort, it is still entertaining enough for me to give him thumbs up. I mean, killer phones, what can you really expect a director to do with something like that? The entertainment doesn't just come from the ridiculous premise, but also how the supernatural scenes are constructed. They might not make much sense, and we are not given much of an explanation in the end about how any of this could happen, but they are still fun if you are able to ignore the flaws and just go along with the madness. <coughs> Dial Help is not a film that will be enjoyable for the average viewer. But for fans of Italian horror who have seen it all and just need something unseen to fill their need, this will be a good fix. Illogical, ridiculous, but still fun and most importantly, entertaining. If this sounds like something you might enjoy, then check it out. If none of this footage convinces you, then you can safely skip this. Due to my personal taste, I have to give Dial Help the positive score of 3 out of 5. Have you seen Dial Help? What were your reaction to it? And if this is the kind of Yero horror you enjoy, then check out my recent review for Lamberto Bava's Delirium. These two films have a lot in common in how they provide entertainment. If you are new around here and enjoy reviews of weird and forgotten horror, then make sure you subscribe as my channel is all about movies that few others will take the time to do a review of. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you will be back for more videos about the macabre part of cinema, here on Cinema Terror.